Okay, got the motor out of the frame of this Atlas C30 Test 7. Here's the frame. So, I know you're like, when are we going to start building the scratch belt locomotives? This is our test bed. And we're going to use this kind of as a model for how we're going to do this. I'm thinking I'm going to do aluminum bar stock, which I can mill on my milling machine, to make this. And the fuel tank can then be screwed on instead of having something like this. But I want to show you what I found with the motor. Here, I tested this motor. First, I had to solder on these crappy wires just so that my alligator clips could grab onto them. Yeah, I put, and that's what happened. I didn't know that at first. I had it like this. Flywheels. A little bit of Teflon got in there. And these flywheels don't even... They don't stay in place. They're just... They're just on here. And they, I would say, were they backwards or something? Um, there's no evidence that anyone's ever taken this apart. But look at that. We can't have that. That is a... That's a no-go. That's bad. All right, so let's uh, give this guy a little bit of juice here. If we can grab on to this. These wires are not good. All right, let's turn them up a little bit. Three volts. He sounds a little rough. There's nine. And we're drawing 0 0.06 amps. So it's good, good on the, good on the draw. 10, 11, 12. I got to hold on to them. Eight. There's 19. That's roughly about the max of what I can, I will be putting out on my layout. All right. So let's do our trick then. Let's see if we can tune this guy up with the Marvel lubricating oil, which, as you know, and as we always show, air tool oil. About 10 bucks will get you a quart of this. Well worth it. These cans are collectible. That's why I keep them. I didn't know that until I tried looking for one. Uh, but the guy that I go to at Northern Tool, the expert on this kind of stuff, he said, get the quart. And these are refillable and they have a little tiny plastic one which costs like six bucks for a couple ounces but for uh ten bucks you can get a lot okay we got to take this thing apart we can't do that we're gonna we gotta take apart we'll take these brackets off which we're gonna do anyways but uh, let's see what we got under here Now, is this going to disassemble the whole thing, or are we just going to be able to keep good? See that we can get at the motor. All right. So let's hit this one. we got to find out. I Because we're going to be using so many motors, I'm not going to replace this motor on the test guy. He tested good enough just now that I think if we tune him up a little bit, Maybe we'll have something there. So let's get a little oil on our screwdriver. Like that. And get it on our bearings. Right there. Get that guy a little twist. And let's get something on this, this guy. His is in there farther, but it'll get there. Okay, just like that, we just wipe it on. Now let's go ahead and hook him up again. Okay, now let's turn up some power on him. It doesn't feel as rough, and I'm at 9 volts now. Definitely feels like it's smoothing out. Oh yeah, there's 19. Way smoother, and it's only drawing 0 .07. So, the air tool oil right off the bat made a huge improvement on this guy. See how low he's going to go? 1.95 still turning, 1.2 volts turning, let's try a little stall test, let's stall them at 15, 16 volts, 
0.5, 0 0.7. Oh, we just went over one. So this is about a one amp. about a one amp stall okay good enough for this motor motor we're gonna keep them like it is and and that's where we're at and we'll see what happens next we're gonna we're gonna look at those trucks and see what we can learn from them